Hey y'all, it's Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. Dreary, 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 ugly day. Rain, I'm not so you can see it on the window. Rain, rain, rain. Just so ugly. We're gonna have rain the next three, four days, something like that. Just, uh, just has me definitely not feeling very well, but must push on, must push through. I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> I gotta laugh about it because if I don't I will definitely be crying so let's get started on the mill tiny ops here in the kitchen um, not as cool as I would really like them to be um, it's been really hot really really hot 63% um, humidity is all fine and good but 75 is a little high so I'm gonna try kicking down the um, I might kick on the fan. I'm going to kick on the fan, see if I can get some more coolness out here. Um, I don't think they're, I mean, 75 is not bad for once in a while here and there, but they definitely like it a little bit cooler. So, um, basically everybody out here is doing really good. Um, this spike on John Leathers has got three buds on it so far. Looks pretty good. Um, definitely had accordion leaves where it was kicking back out roots but once we knock everything over um <clears throat> she definitely since uh since i busted it up and divided it definitely putting out good roots as you can see so she didn't skip a beat didn't skip a beat with uh dividing and repotting so uh nelly eiler there doing just fine right in the window um still haven't noticed these growths really um they're so big that i don't i haven't noticed them 100 percent actually growing so um I, I i want some like a definitive like aha moment that I'm, i can see they're growing so um the little homespun sprite is still staying there hidden out doing pretty good uh, this little guy is still open, still smelling fantabulous. Birds are flying all around out there. I fed them, gave them something to eat. I'm a little concerned. I haven't seen my, haven't seen Miss Fluffy Eyes in a couple of days. Um, I had uh, showed you last weekend that um, she was filling up with worms and going to the neighbor's yard. Well, for a couple of days, like. And I mean, like all this one day, she was just, uh, she was, they were doing the, her and daddy was just like carrying on, like something was going on and, uh, making that sound that they make when, when it's urgent and they're, they're, you know, upset about something. Well, I couldn't figure out what it was. And I even walked over to the neighbor's yard and I thought, you know, if they got ring and whatnot, they've seen me in their yard, which I've got cameras too, but I'm like, if they got ring, she's seen me in the yard. And funny thing was, about 15 minutes later, she came home, and I was like, say something to me. Go ahead. <laughs> but I didn't see what was going on. I didn't see what they were complaining about. Um, I mean, it could have been a snake in the tree, I guess. But I assume that the babies have died again, and I haven't seen mommy. I don't, uh, she came, it was really weird, two nights ago, I think. She came right before dark, or no, was it was that morning? I can't remember what it was morning. But uh, she came, and she, um, I had only had blueberries in the bowl, and usually she waits for me to come back in and grab worms. And she she didn't stick around. She was saw that there was blueberries in the bowl and uh look to the left and see what's right there. Oh he flew off. <laughs> um she yeah, she seen blueberries was in the bowl and she got mad about it and she took off and I haven't seen her since. It's been like uh this is day two. So a little upset about that, but dying fly in here. I have to get rid of him here in a little bit. Anyways, um, everybody's doing pretty good. The uh, big spike on Francine Rose Glow is really, see in front of her, behind her. Um, yeah, looking really good. She's got two branches. 
and as she goes up 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 I mean she's really yeah look I mean looking really good really fantastic I'm really really pleased with how she's faring so we might we should see some uh, rose glow blooms soon so hang on and we will go to the orchid room to the grow room Alrighty, y'all, we are back. Um, uh, same old, same old, pretty much going on over here in the jungle. <laughs> in the jungle, the mighty jungle. Yes, yes, yes. Lots and lots of plants, lots and lots of plants. Uh, blooms are still out on Sipatra Delight. Looking quite lovely quite beautiful pretty 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 much so everybody else just growing and doing their thing so um i don't know if these sheaths and apple blossom are going to do anything or not definitely looks like a spike and eh, no it don't feel like a spike um this one this one feels like a spike though it's thick like a spike so, who knows? Kind of late for him, but is what it is, I guess. So, hang on, and we'll go to Phalaenopsis' table, which nothing much has happened over there either. Um, not really. All right, nothing's really changing on the Phalaenopsis' table. Um, this Stabartiana, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, it's two leaves are looking horrid. Um, this plant has always struggled for me. Michael McCarthy's has just went crazy. But I did have a kiki on this one, and the kiki's actually doing better than the mother plant. But sometimes, you know, that will happen. Um, so I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try giving that some cow mag and see what goes on with it. Um, since I do have a kiki back up, I'm not too, too awfully worried whether or not it's going to make it or not. But basically, everybody's doing their thing here on the Phalaenopsis table. Still, same old, same old. Um, on the back side of the Phalaenopsis table, the Yafon Green Batman still in bloom. Still got two blooms out on her. And the spike on the. Um, what is it again? I keep forgetting. Heaven Sent. Heaven scent, sweet redolence is definitely up there. I mean, it's not huge, huge or nothing, but it's coming along. Now, over here on the back side of the Mars Hydro, um, nothing really is going on. Um, things are pretty mellow right now. Um, everything's just in growth mode. Uh, Cata, sedum, um, Taiwan Gold has just like you know taken over <laughs> it's so big it really is uh, I do need to make up some water for them though um, here's the littler one off the smaller bulb I mean it's not as big but it's, it's not doing too bad I need to get them some food made up and uh, get them their nu nutrients to them uh, the big news over here is Ethel's Paradise is open for business. <laughs> uh, light is definitely a factor with this one. Um, oh, I see. Finally, uh, the one uh, Epidendrum Nocturnum has folded up shop, but the second one still out in hanging out back there, but we're talking about, actually, I'll go ahead and pull it forward so you can see its beauty. I'll have to get the scissors and get this one snipped off, but, um, yes, this one, light is definitely a factor. I've got pictures of it. I'll put up on the screen as soon as I zoom back out, so i got some place to put them. Um, because 
uh, I have pictures I'll show you. And the picture, the top picture is a picture I bought her in the Pittsburgh show. Um, what her bloom looked like when I bought her at Pittsburgh. Which I would say, in all honesty, she was in probably poor, poor light to be so white. So, the second picture is what she bloomed for me over under the Walmart LED shop light. The third picture was the day she opened up on the third bloom. Now, now you can see though, I mean, she's definitely, she's not as white, but light just definitely affects her. There's, there's just, yeah, no way around it. Um, let me think. The blooms on, or the blooms, the, uh, the new growths up there on the dendrobium, they're looking really good. So it seems to be faring pretty well on the mount. Um, there's a new growth right there with a spike coming out on, I'll circle it, on the green fly. But my green flies are not putting forth as many growths as I think they should right now. Justin's is a little further ahead of mine, but he's got a few more growths than I do. Mine don't seem to be growing as well. So, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, the Lobata, um, the three bulbs are definitely dried. They're really, um, they're really hard now. They're not soft or gushy. They're pretty well absorbed, I do believe, so... But everybody's just growing. Everybody's looking good. And of course, with the um, the magic of um, videoing and whatnot, the Stanhopias are gone. So hang on, and we'll start with the Stanhopias back up. The um, Walkeriana still right there. So hang on. Okie dokie. Well, and then like I said, we're gonna hang up the Stan Hopias just like that. <laughs> just like that. And there they are. <laughs> they just got their soak. They they had a soak and um, figured I'd have them out of the way of doing my weekend walk around. The, uh, the acidensis there, um, uh, Nina just contacted me, so there will be a care collab coming up soon for that one. Um, definitely, definitely one uh, new care collab rolling around for that one here soon. Hers is in bloom, actually. Lucky ducky her. <clears throat> Anyways, roll around here. Of course, uh, Catasandra still looking good. These guys are going to get whopping feed this time. Um, they're looking phenomenal though. They're really doing really good. And the after darks are about to take over the Stanhopias. So um, that one bulb is about depleted on that one, that second. Um, yeah, but they look really good. They're really, they're really branching out and they're getting huge. Um, the biggest news over here is, ready? Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my baby's back. My baby's back. My baby's back. Oh, she's so beautiful, you guys. Volcano trick. And look, look at all those to come. Look at all of those to come. She's just such a shower, I'm telling you. She really is. Smells good. She's not overly strong, but she's got a really sweet scent when you, you know, put your nose down there. Get your nose close to her. Um, basically, that's about it up there on that front. Everybody's growing. Um, I did pull the Doiana up here. Not Doiana, Digbiana. <laughs> I pulled the Digbiana up here. Uh, I told you guys I repotted her, put her in a five inch pot, and um, this new growth is really looking good. Um, Yoshi just had his uh, Digbiana bloom, 
And I was like, yay! His, his plant is a Digbiana. I was like, congratulations! Um, but yes, you can definitely see. I'm hoping this one's definitely a Digbiana too. I mean, you just don't know until they bloom. But you can see the white um, markings in it. So, uh, down here... Um, this spike is dying on Yafon, oh my god, and I don't know why. Oh my god, why is your spike dying? <laughs> um, now I said I was going to give Miss Shirley a better look. I did cut this leaf off of this one last week. She said that hers died, the part that she kept, and I, felt, I feel so bad about that. Um, mine's doing really, really good, honestly. Um, Hang on, let me move these two guys here and uh, let's set this one down here and we'll take a little bit longer look at her. All right, there you go, Miss Shirley. Um, yeah, it really is doing, it's doing quite well, honestly. It's, that's what I told you, it's really growing roots. Um, really, you know, really not doing bad at all. Seriously, um, that new growth is looking pretty good. I'm um, getting a lot of light, you can tell by the purple, but um, so far I haven't noticed any, you know, no signs of buds or anything, but, um, you know, it's growing good, but I did, I promised you that we'd get a better look at this one, and I wanted to stay true on my promise, so um, it gets going good, though, um, I will definitely send you back a division if you want it, Miss Shirley. All right, the couple blooms are still well, really one's hanging this one's about to fall off now on sogo vivian uh this hoya is growing up 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 that hoya fitchia that um yoshi sent me um one of my viewers had mentioned um that she made the jump and she got a uh, sweet memory and um this is my sweet memory she's doing really phenomenal now not sure if you remember when I first got her. She's, she is only in a three inch net pot, but she's definitely doing quite well. She's grown a lot. She has a new leaf coming. So, um, yeah, she's doing pretty good. She's grown a lot since I got her from uh, um, High Desert Orchids. So, now the one behind her, that one is the um, Sweet Memory Perfume. It's doing okay. Um, it is it's starting to put out some new roots. I don't have anywhere to sit the regular one here. Sorry. <laughs> um, it is putting out new roots. Um, it does have some spotting. I'm not sure what's going on with that there. But um, she's definitely putting out some newer roots. And she's doing okay. She's growing. But uh, this one has been a little bit of a, a fuss with me. When I first got it... I, of course, did my bug regime on it, and I think the oil and the light mix, it didn't like that at all. It really, um, it really fussed about that situation, and I lost a couple leaves. I thought I was going to really lose the whole plant, but I managed to save it, bring it, you know, straighten it up, and uh, so I'm really cautious about what I put on her, but um, yeah, that's my sweet memory, um, or my Phalaenopsis sweet memory perfume. So, it's a lot, I don't know, it's, it's definitely different looking than this sweet memory, but hopefully I can get one of them to bloom one of these days. Hopefully this, the, this one here should be big enough. All right, down, down, down. I pulled um, Zygo No Eno out here. I pulled it out a little bit because it was clear back to the window and it was getting direct sunlight and uh, you can see what happens sometimes when you get direct sunlight. So I had to back her away from the window. I was like, dang it, Dunk, you, you done went and done it. <laughs> so um, I did pull her back. She was sitting over there. So I pulled her back here more away from the window because the sun comes in that direction. Um, still, still going strong. Still going strong. And uh, it's a little kiki over there. It's got a spike on it, too. So there'll be plenty of Tiasco Jaspers around Paula's gray room. Woo! Can't say I can't get enough of that one. Um, still, 
see the bud on only one bud. Not really, um, if uh, Tiasco Jasper are well out here, only one bud on um, sunset. I'm not sure why that, that bulb's not fully matured yet. Maybe it'll come up and grow a new one. Um, as you can see, uh, if I get my hand out of the way, maybe. Um, Juicy Fruit is putting up new growth. She's got four coming this time. So her spikes next year should be phenomenal. When those spikes grow out, she should really get some good, um, phenomenal spikes and do well. Uh, down, down, down. The big news down here is that pretty girl. <laughs> Look how cute. Look how cute absolutely adorable i wish the, the camera is not doing her justice at all Let's see if i can bring it up here um hang on guys let me switch some I'm trying to do it left-handed and my fingers are in the way now <laughs> uh you need like a hundred hands sometimes to do this stuff and move plants around and get them in good light and the right light and uh yeah it's kind of difficult but i think she's cute so she winds up getting a bunch of these um i will be happy i will be happy happy now this one if i can find it it has another one there yeah i guess that one will it was really kind of small but it's gonna have another one that comes out but i'm sure this one will probably die before that one opens isn't she cute why not sir um, oh, there is another big news down here too, so let's go back down. Ooh, too old for this stuff. <laughs> big news here. My, um, that plant is such a pain, such a pain. Um, that is Coral Queen. That one, it took me forever to get her to bloom. She would bloom and blast and bloom and blast, and uh, I realized she has to be in coconut husk she has to be in coconut husk and she has to have that complete moisture all the time all the time all the time to put out blooms and or put out buds that will bloom so yeah it's a definite constant thing she has to have all right i gotta stand back up now <laughs> i'm so old <sighs> Um, everything up here is good. Um, Petite Patty Lucky dropped her blooms. Sadly, sadly, sadly. Um, Settle Me Down, Michael McCarthy sent me, has two new growths right there. So put up that one, one big one right beside of them, and now it's putting up two more. Um, this, uh, Jewelry Splash, um, a hero jewelry splash. Really needed a bigger pot, but at the time this was all I had. So, wish I could get a bloom on her. So I know 100% what she is. Um, Jumbo Grace is just taking over. Um, two gross over here, one over there. She's just doing terrific. Just growing, growing, growing. Um, uh, Hand of a Pals last bud fell, and another one coming. I need her to finish up though, because I need to I need to repot her. I'm scared to do it while she's blooming, blooming, blooming. Cause last time I did um, her spike, she just came in spike, and her spike aborted. Um, maybe I should just go ahead and, uh, go ahead and do it. The reason being is, um, if you can see, some of the roots are doing that now. They, they don't look real bad. They still look pretty good, but some of them are doing that. They look a little black on the end. And, uh, yeah, they don't look as, uh, fresh as they normally do, but, 
I don't know. Maybe, Daryl, if you're watching, uh, what's your opinion? You think it's time to repot? It's not been that long ago she's been repotted. But I know they usually thrive better with repots. So, um, I, I rely on your expert opinion about that because that is my first Phragnopedium and I don't know how to grow them. I'm not going to say I do and lie. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. Um, down here, I moved some things around. I told you, um, Digbiana came out, so I put Shilariana back there, which that plant will not bloom. I don't know why, so I'm hoping maybe direct sunlight in there. Um, Tony from the Tiny Jungle, he told me that size plant should definitely be blooming. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see her. He said that size plant should definitely be blooming, and she's not. So he said, "Well, it's light then, light, light, light." So, you know, if it's not food, it's light. So, he's he's probably 100% right. So we're giving the light a whirl. Um, Catlea Rex here, looking her front front froggy haired self. That growth is coming right along, looking good. Um, seems like it's going to surpass the last one so that's a plus so definitely looks good uh, the shriveled pickle back there sit stay ubu shriveled pickle is coming up growing doing pretty good um, the vandas that uh, Kathleen sent me doing good uh, that's the pachara moved it back there too um, oh, the, um, oh, what is that, Rebecca Northern, look at that growth, wow, I mean, I told you, once I started feeding her, pow, look at that, that is just crazy incredible, look at that growth, just amazing, um, I moved these over here, um, these were sent to me by uh, as gifts from Stephen Van Camp and Lewis from um, that Christus, Christian Stephen Christofferson. Um, these are those uh, Purparata seedlings. There's one. I'm gonna zoom back out, guys. There's one here now. One here. So they're right here. The small Catasandra is still behind there, looking good. Um, what else did I want to point out behind here? Oh, behind the Catasandra is the other little Catasetum growth coming right up there on, um, I forget what that is. It's a Chuck Taylor cross. That's my little Velociraptor. Um, <clears throat> which Chuck Taylor itself is a lot like Velociraptor. Um... <laughs> everything I think that's about it over here the little lalias are right there um, I staked that big growth on um, uh, Pamela Hetherington I mean that's a nice nice new growth I'm probably gonna have to wind up find a place for her out of back there because she's getting so big so this shelf's about only good for smaller uh, catleas and stuff so, because it's not very, not much shelf space between shelves. Down, down, down. We got some new blooms coming out on Cataliente Rosemary. I don't see anybody else, but she still has several more growths coming. So, she'll probably sporadically be, this growth here is new, so I look for a spike in it. This one's brand new. Look for a spike coming up in it. So definitely, I was gonna try to shit. Oh, uh, my head hit um, stinking uh, maxillary above me. <laughs> I was gonna try to zoom in and show you the new growths on Fujiwara. Fujiwara, there's one of them. Remember, I told you there's four. Uh, where'd it go now? I'm so lost. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> Come on. You can see it there, definitely. But um, there's one there. 
I really got a really good look at it when I pulled it out the other day when I watered. Definitely four growths. <laughs> you can see them. There's the other one. There's the one in front of it. And then there's one right there behind it. So that'll be really nice. Maybe one of those will bloom, bloom out, hopefully. Um, zoom back out. Basically, that's about all that's going on down here. So hang on and we'll hit the other side of the room. All right, I've got still got stuff from the table where I was working and filmed the last video, but the um, spike on Phalaenopsis little zebra back there is going over, and this is the uh, spike on um, Celtic cross blushed. Still not doing too bad. Like I said, this plant's been a real fuss budget as of lately that one's completely upside down i forgot about that but yeah she's still out and about i was gonna move her is why she's out of there so let's go up here um i'm waiting on the seventh moon of the full sun of the whatever michael for that bulb on that zygo my god <laughs> i about just died when you said that i was like He's like, I've told you that, that, that when that forms a bulb, I've had that thing for what? Two years now? At least a year, I think. Or maybe more. Can't really honestly remember when you're like, I don't know where it gets a bulb. Well, I don't see no bulb. Ugh. Anyways. <laughs> Over here. Phalaenopsis fimbriata. My only one to bloom, but such a cutie, such a cutie cutie. Um, I moved the uh, Tasco Jasper Kiki over here. She's looking really great. Um, her spike, it did bunch up at the bottom, which I noticed finally, but um, it's not seeming to affect it much. The spike's rolling out there, so. Looks all good. I moved a couple of the bigger Bellinas up here. So and that one's Bellina Cerulea, and uh, this is Pohan, po po Pohan, Pumpkin, Pumpkin. So, and I moved this one up here. That one that just has never looked good. It's got them spots and stuff on it. I don't know how how much longer that one's for this world. Um, I moved the variegated. Dendrobium up here as well. Um, basically, that's about all that's going on. Um, Cyclopsis is still looking really great back there. All the flowers are gone on Jonathan Stark Joy. Um, this beautiful girl, Phalaenopsis Bellina, looking her gorgeous self. And then you have. Da -da -da -da. Oh, she's phenomenal. Smells, you guys, the scent over here right now is so cinnamony, yummy, terrific. Um, the only bad thing is, is um, me and Justin was talking about that. Um, she's not as light as she appears. And it's so hard to get a true grasp of her true color. Um, she's Violacea Indigo, but yeah she's not real light she's not and the camera does not pick up her true colors so but she's a lot darker than that but she's darker but the lip is phenomenally dark but oh the fragrance oh 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 the fragrance so great for oh love it uh you guys haven't seen this guy, girl for a while um phalaenopsis celebensis hanging out there looking good down, down, down. Um, see, that's why I moved some stuff out of here. That's why the shelf is, that's why uh, the bleen is that went up there, gave it some more room down here on this shelf. Um, Deliciosa. Let's get a fine look at her little, little cutie patootie self, if she'll focus. All right, what's wrong with you?
I want the focus good. Alright, where's my camera at? I don't know why it won't focus right. Normally I don't have any trouble focusing on her. Hmm. This thing just keeps putting out lots of buds though. Look at all these buds to come. It'd be, it would be so much nicer though if it was... Um, focus what is the deal it would look so much better if they were um, there that's better if they were you know a bunch of them on the spike it would be so much better uh, basically same old same old back here that uh, Kiki back there on um, mini mark is looking good the spike is still extending um, everybody doing good. The, um, the mini mark, um, still got her few little, she just keeps, the spike keeps extending and it's so long. <laughs> it's crazy how it does, but she's so pretty. Um, that's basically about it that's going on right in here. Um, good news on Green Dragon. If she will focus. We got a double spike. Yeah. Nice double spike on Green Dragon. Looks good. Uh, yes, Michael, there is my, um... Leptodes poluensa pol or whatever, however you say it, pol uh, poluensis. It's right there, right beside the Leptodes unicolor. Um, spikes on the uh, Luteola rhodosticta, still going. The new growth on the woohoo! little um punctata again drawing blank looks good i'm so tickled you guys so 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 tickled like over the moon happy look at that oh so excited so um that's about it over here everything just doing good um and growing um, down here we have lots of buds on uh, Catlea Fairyland. It's coming up. This weird uh, pink splash um, dendrobium. Finally, that spike died and that weird bloom died. So that was kind of strange. Um, here's the mount. I did of the um, poor packs. Couldn't think again. My mind's so blank. <laughs> uh, and here is the um, Tampanzas right here. Uh, the blooms are still out on. What's that? blooms are still out on my beautiful 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 uh, Akasuta Mammy Volcano Queen still got beautiful blooms on Chantilly Lace Twinkle which if you look um, Chantilly Lace Twinkle is one of the parents of um, the Ethel's Paradise so you can definitely see similarities definitely <laughs> Might have to do a side-by-side -side kind of picture thing. And, uh, let's see. That's about it, y'all, really. Um, the seedlings are all doing good and growing. Nothing really to report down there. So, I guess, basically, with that said, I appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with me. And bye for now, y'all. Till we meet again.